Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. So you've heard that some of the prison people who are in prison are supposed to be released um, due to COVID-19, but only if they are non, not a threat to society, which means they had their charges had to have been non-violent um, cases. And they should not, and are not a threat to society. Yet, I'm also starting to know a pattern here of who actually is getting released and who has been denied, um, being able to leave prison, even if it's for a short time. They allowed this snitch right here, who is a pedophile, get out. By the name of Takashi Six Nine, or should I say, Takashi Six Nine, A.K.A. the Rainbow Culture Vulture, A.K.A. the Rainbow Reject or the Rainbow Retard, and then, um, some people call him Rainbow Bright. Those who do not like him, he's getting out, but R. Kelly. And Bill Cosby are being denied. Not to mention they haven't really, um, even, um, Bill Cosby was falsely accused. And he was accused on hearsay. And plus he's blind. So he's not really a threat. He's blind. He needs medical help because of his age. Which means he's actually more at risk of COVID-19. Then Takashi 69. Um, but they won't let him or R. Kelly out. And R. Kelly, his case, they have not proven that he's guilty or if he's violent. The last time he was in court, he was actually acquitted. So, let me guess. But look who they're also releasing. Um, uh, shout out to Nicole's View for bringing this up. Um, hold on. So apparently you had this person right here. He is being charged for child pornography. But he gets to get out. Yeah, him. He's getting released because they fear for his life when it comes to covert 19. And I'm sure he can see pretty well. But he, who is totally blind and unhealthy and at risk for COVID-19, and R. Kelly, who hasn't been proven guilty or hasn't been proven that he was violent, no sign of violence, they get denied. Do you see what's going on? They are making sure that they find any loophole to get out non-black criminals out and try to find loopholes to keep black criminals in prison so they can they could be the ones that catch the COVID-19 that's why I heard that there was a prison riot uh uh um well actually a uprising at some of these prison uh prisons by pr black prisoners who are angry that only the black prisoners are being forced to stay That shows you our justice system. Yep, that shows you our justice system right there. This is the same justice system that's part of the same government that is saying that we are the most highly affected when... Nope, no, we're not. We are not the most highly affected. That is just a freaking lie. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing some of these protocols that try to stop the spread of the virus. If we were the most people being sick, if black people were the most people being sick with the virus, they would have never shut down the government. They would just find a way to keep going. They would find a way to come here, black people, free uh, uh, NBA tickets. And then you'd be like, you know, something's very off about this free NBA stuff. Yeah, they'll try to 
put us together and try to enclose us so they can kill us faster with COVID-19. So that shows you right there, we are not the most effective. They're just booking the number. Not to mention, there have been reports that people who have just been sick with a minor cough, they just put COVID-19 and it's not been proven because they haven't been tested and then the doctors get a high pay salary for diagnosing a virus even though you didn't test someone. But back to that, maybe a later story, but later, but let's talk about what's going on with these prisons. They seem to be only trying to find loopholes to get only the non-blacks out and try to find loopholes to keep the black ones in. I'm not saying I'm defending Kelly. Um, I'm not defend. I'm not saying I'm defending R. Kelly if he has been proven to have done what he has done, but. Takashi 69, he has been proven to be a child pedophile and he's been in violent situations. Um, yet they're gonna let him out. No, see, the only reason why they really let him out is because he's non-black and because he snitched on black people. And, well, that's what they say, snitched on black people. Only black people he snitched on and he's a culture vulture and a racist. That's why they're letting Takashi Snitch 9 out. But that's all I have to say about this. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to really try to keep those black prisoners in closed areas so they can be affected by the COVID at risk for the COVID vi uh, virus. So they can kill us faster in some of these prison cells. That's why they want to put as many black people in jail. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, yeah, write down in the comment section what you think. Make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, hit that notification. I'll also put down links to all the different accounts for you, you to follow me on, uh, whether it be YouTube, Black Junction, Black Share, Twitter, etc. Um, but that's all I have to say for now. Um, this is J-Dog. Thank you for watching and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace everyone.